that first That's room. That's crazy. <laughs> Alright, we're going here. Are we safe? Hi everyone. Welcome to the Davis Laboratory's Epic Halloween Special Fun Run. As soon as you walk through the door, you're given a riddle. Where it says Davis Laboratory's Epic Halloween Special Fun Run. But there are four eyes missing. The contestant must figure out where those four eyes are to find the off switch to that gun over there. Oh. But oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ah. what But here's the catch. I put five ultrasonic sensors down by our feet so the gun knows where we are and we'll carry the gun as well. It's a laser room. Really just a room full of lasers. Yeah. But if you block a laser, you set a horn off. That's why you have to get through the room without setting off any of the horns. We got it. Dr. Dave. Dave, do you see anything? Come in here. Alright, alright, alright. the beginning and try again. Hands off, you go first. I'm going in! challenge in squid game where they're hopping across the tiles but in my version you can only traverse one tile at a time half of them have landmines underneath them 
So if you step on a bad tile, for like my gypsy here will. Pause. Okay, I didn't really set off a live landmine inside my apartment. I made that part up. But I did put pressure sensors underneath the tiles with sound effects to make it sound like a live landmine went off inside my apartment. Okay, rewind. Can you step on that tile, please? Don't. A landmine sound is gonna go off, and the gun is gonna start shooting everyone in the room. What's a landmine? I, I use a spray effect on this one to make sure that I get everyone, not just the person who stepped on the tiles. Now, can you try it again? No, don't step on the same tile again. <laughs> Most people with an IQ above 80 will try stepping on a different tile next I have an IQ of 60. Can you step on that and tile and instead of this tile? Please step on that tile. Okay, so number one. Okay, as you can see... This one's safe. E yes, yeah, we got that. We, we knew before you stepped on it the second time. Oh. Alright, so I can keep going. Yes. Alright. Alright. Go for it. Alright. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. 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 Okay, go straight. I was going straight. Straight. No. Diagonal. I'm going diagonal. Right diagonal. Nope. So it was here, here, here. Straight. Straight, yeah. And straight. Diagonal. I'm just going to straight. And at the end, you have to get Jesse's cancer medication. Hey! Great Thank you, sir. Here you go, buddy. And, once you're done with that, you, you finish the maintenance. You have to get out of my house, because you can't have too many people here at once. Now, I know what you're thinking. Did David really just fill his house with lasers, horns, and guns so he and a couple of his friends can go through a maze on a Saturday night when no one has any plans? Yes. Yes, I did. And setting it up is very easy. All you have to do is solder this board. And this board. And this board. And this board. And this gun. And this gun. And this horn. and these laser diodes, and a handful of photoresistors, and five pressure sensors, and a bunch of power supplies, and 30 or so custom soldered extension wires with JSD connector endings to make the wiring easier later on, and a lot of other things that I already forgot. Then you just have to run the wires to all the components, test the lasers, the pressure sensors, the guns, horns, and all the other components to make sure that everything's working. Uh, run through the course a couple dozen times with Xavier to make sure all the functions are working as expected. Uh, program a whole bunch of Arduinos. And then we're ready to piss off my neighbors. I mean, have a fun Halloween special. <laughs> Our neighbors hate us. But first, we just need to find some friends. But somehow, I found almost 10 people to attempt to go through my course while fully automatic Orbeez blasters are shooting at them. Because there's so much footage of people being shot at and setting off horns, individual runs are shown in part two of the Halloween special, linked in the description below. Not only can you see their full runs, but I will make fun of them at the same time. Putting Jesse's cancer medication at the end of the fun run wasn't some insensitive joke about cancer. He really did have cancer, but because millions of 25 year olds need unemployment to protect them from the seasonal flu, Jesse was denied assistance for his chemotherapy, because apparently his chemotherapy wasn't bad enough. 
but Jesse is a good lad sometimes. So if anyone has it in their hearts to dole out a couple dimes, it would really help give Jesse a good second chance. Just click the link in the description below to the GoFundMe page for Jesse, and you'll make him a very happy man. But not more than a dollar or two. But we don't want to spoil the kid. See, look at the guy. But like a sad puppy, you just want to help him, right? Oops, can't show that on you. I also started an electronic store selling all the components I use in my videos, whether it's a toggle switch, some solder wire, wire strippers, Arduinos, train horns, fully automatic Orbeez blasters, anything I use in my videos, I will also link on that website. So if you want to recreate some of my ideas or come up with some new ones, it's a good place to start. In addition to listing all the parts I use on my YouTube channel, I will also give a review of everything as well as explanations of how to wire it. So you're not buying a train horn without knowing how to properly wire it. I will provide detailed instructions on how to wire it. So um, you can get the component, you know how to wire it, and you can have fun with your train horn or you know, what, whatever parts you choose to buy. Just go to AccidentalSpark.com and click on the store tab to see a list of all the parts I use in my channel. Buying from this site not only promises a good time for you and your friends, but it also helps fund fun pranks against Xavier. I will also sell David Laboratory apparel, like the shirt I'm wearing now, but not with terrible quality. I will revamp the design because this is just terrible. Alright, so I'm here with Jesse, who is going to explain in detail his situation with cancer. Alright, Jesse? Thank you, Dave. Um, I'm Jesse, as you know. Last year, I had to get surgery, something was off, and then I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. Um, that opened the door to chemotherapy, and then it was kind of in and out of work for the year. Um, <clears throat> so during that process, I applied for unemployment and disability. Unfortunately, I was denied of both. And then I ended up going into remission, went through all the chemotherapy, and I was good. Then March of this year, I was diagnosed again. They said that it came back. And then I reapplied for disability because unemployment just wasn't helping me out. I was denied a second time. I had to go through another round of chemotherapy and two stem cell transplants, which really put me out of commission for work. Um, I basically had to start a new immune system and I'm still kind of recovering from that right now. And unfortunately, because I didn't receive any assistance, I had to go back to work earlier than expected. But I'm kind of just rolling with the punches right now. I'm very appreciative of Dave here just helping me out, um, creating, you know, making a positive and funny video about my case because you sometimes you got to make light of the situation. It really does help. So definitely like, comment, subscribe. Dave, it's Laboratory. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you too, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I just want to say I appreciate my friends, my family, everybody that supported me throughout this entire thing, um, and my work. They're the ones that started. <clears throat> I also want to give a shout out to my work. They're the ones that set up the GoFundMe and all the people that donated before. Thank you so much. And anyone that is even thinking about donating <clears throat> and all the ones that are even thinking about donating this time around, I appreciate you too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dave. Now, if you're still watching, I do appreciate your dedication to the video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and post your ideas in the comments below. If you have great ideas, I will mention you in the production video, and if your ideas are terrible, I will publicly shame you in front of everyone for having terrible ideas. Now, I don't know what else to say, so I'm gonna disappear now.